everyone welcome to encryption the tech tips and tutorial channel in this video we will learn how to install gns3 or the graphical network simulator 3 in windows operating system the agenda of this video is to download gns3 application and gns3 bm install gns3 bm on vmware workstation install gns3 application on windows operating system and add cisco routers and switches so let's get it started Let's begin the video with an introduction of the GNS3 in brief. GNS3 or the Graphical Network Simulator 3, as the name suggests, it's a network emulator that hundreds of thousands of network engineers use to emulate, configure, test and troubleshoot virtual and real networks all over the world. GNS3 is an open source free software which can assist you in not only just studying for certification examinations like the Cisco CCNA, CCNP, CCIE, Microsoft, Linux, ethical hacking and so on without paying for expensive hardware but also in testing and verifying real world IT infrastructure setups. For over a decade, GNS3 has allowed network engineers to virtualize genuine hardware devices. GNS3 began by simulating Cisco devices with Dynamimps uh, software, but it has since developed to handle a wide range of network devices, including Cisco virtual switches, Cisco ASAs, uh, Brocade B routers, uh, Cumulus Linux switches, Docker instances, SPE BSRs, uh, various Linux appliances, and many others. So let's see how to install the powerful tool in our PC having Windows operating system. Let's begin by downloading the software. Open your favorite browser and search for download GNS3 BM. I have installed VMware Workstation Hypervisor on my PC and it's uh, the recommended hypervisor software for the GNS3 although you can run the GNS3 on VirtualBox as well. So let's download GNS3 BM for VMware Workstation. Now at the same time, in the new tab, search for GNS3 download. This time I am downloading GNS3 application. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of GNS3 is 2.2.29. It's mandatory that the GNS3 version must match with the GNS3 BM. Click on download button. You need to create an account in order to uh, download this version. So fill in the form with appropriate information and click on create account and configure. I have already created the account so I don't create a new account. Instead I want to log in using my existing account. Here I am on a windows operating system so I download the application for windows operating system. Now the download begins. It may take some time depending upon your internet speed. I'll be back to you as the download completes. Okay, the download is complete and here I have added two more folders in the directory, the router iOS folder and the switch folder. These folders store the Cisco router ISO files and switch images that I downloaded from the internet. I will also share the folders with you. Uh, please find the link to download the resources in the description below. Now extract the GNS3 BM. Right click, click on extract. Now double click on the folder and double click on GNS3 BM. You should already have the VMware Workstation installed. If you haven't already installed the VMware Workstation, pause the video download the latest version of the VMware Workstation and install it and then come back to the video. It asks you how you want to open this file. Since it's a VM, we definitely want to open it on a hypervisor software and we can see the installed hypervisors here on my PC out of which I'm going to choose the VMware Workstation. Now waiting for a while, VMware Workstation opens automatically and it initiates to import the new virtual machine. Let's give a name to the virtual machine as GNS3BM and click on the import button. Wait until the BM is imported onto your VMware workstation. As you can see, 
memory for the VM is set to 2 GB by default. But we don't need this much memory. You can just decrease it to 1 GB or if you have enough memory on your computer, you can just leave it as it is. The GNS3 VM is ready to run. Now let's install the GNS3 application to simulate the networking devices. Double click on the GNS3 executable file. Click on next. Click on I agree. Next. Again click on next. If you get WinPCAP setup wizard pops up, install it. Also install everything that the installer asks you to install so that you don't get dependency error later. After everything is installed, uncheck the start GNS3 because we will manually start it and click on the finish button. Let's close the new tabs in the browser and minimize the unused tabs or you can just close them. Now launch the GNS3 application. After a few seconds, the application also starts the GNS3 VM in VMware Workstation. Just minimize the VMware Workstation UI for now and go back to the GNS3 application UI. Here we can see the application is trying to connect to the server on 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 on port 3080. Let's keep patience and wait for some time. Oops, we have got an error. The error reads could not connect to IP and port number. Win error 10049. The requested address is not valid in its context. Let's troubleshoot the issue first. Navigate through the GNS3 data storage directory, which is in my case, the C drive, then users, the current users folder, app data. This folder is usually hidden. If you don't see it, go to the view and click on hidden items. Then you will get it. Double click on it. Double click on roaming folder, GNS3 and double click on 2.2. Here, if we check the file extension of the GNS3 underscore server, we can see it's .ini. Let's open the file with notepad. Then edit the value of the host from 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 127.0.0.1, the local host IP address. Then save the file. Go back to the GNS3 application and here close all the windows. It may take some time to stop the local server, so please keep uh, patience. Then open the GNS3 application. Let's wait for a while. It may open the VM in VMware Workstation again. Just minimize it, but don't close it. Closing it may shut down the GNS3 VM. If you shut down the VM, it does not work. Okay, this time we don't see any error and the GNS3 is asking us to create a new project. The issue is now solved. You can give a new name to the first project or you can just leave the name of the project as untitled. Just to test. It prompts an error. The project already exists. It's not a big issue. Just click on OK. Moving on to test if the installation is fully computed and error free. Let's create a new project. For this, click on the file menu and click on the new blank project. Let's write the project name as first underscore page. You can give the name of your choice and click on OK. Now the new project file is created and we can see the blank workspace of the file. On the right bar, on the server summary sections, we can see the GNS3 BM server CPU and RAM utilization. Don't confuse that it's not your laptop or your PC's overall CPU and RAM utilization, but the utilization of the resources that is allocated to the GNS3 BM server that is running on the VMware workstation. Let's also check one more thing here. Click on Edit, click on Preferences and click on GNS3 BM. Here make sure that the enable the GNS3 BM is checked. Moving on, let's add router and switch iOS images into the GNS3 application. 
the one way to do so is to click on edit menu click on preferences here click on ios routers under the dynamics section and click on new here to add router you can choose any of the two server types you can either choose to run the ios router on the gns3 bm or on the local computer but for iou switches you will compulsorily have to choose the gns3 bm so let's go with uh, run this ios router on my local computer and click on the next button here click on the new image and click on browse and locate your router ios image folder let's choose the c3725 series of router click on s on the prompt click on next click on next button again click on the next button and here add the slots the slots are the cards that include the router ports adding additional slots will give you added number of ports also let's add the wic which stands for one wide area network interface cards these are the cards that give you serial interfaces then click on next now in the idle dash pc section you can just leave this as the default selected or click on idle dash pc finder button this idle pc will prevent ios to use 100 percent of your processor or one of its core so it is necessary to add click on ok and click on the finish button here we can see the c3725 is added on the list of ios router templates finally click on apply and now you can close this window clicking on this router symbol we can see two routers in the gns3 they will remain in act even after you close the gns3 application and shut down the gns3 bm because they are permanently added on the application this is just like you purchased the two routers and added onto your network rack let's drag the c3725 router onto the gns3 workspace right click on it and click on start to power on the router now the router must be turned on just double click on it to access it through a virtual console yes as you can see the router is accessed through the solar party virtual console and we can perform any task or run any valid commands here moving on to the final task of this video let's add l2 devices or the switches onto our virtual networking lab just as we added the router to add the switch as well the one way is to click on edit and then click on preferences here click on iou devices under the ios on unix section and click on new here to add a iou switch we have no option rather than choosing the run this iou device on the gns3 bm so click on the next give a name to the device let's name it as l2 underscore encryption click on browse point the iou image which i have on the switch folder as i have already mentioned you i will also provide you the link for the image as well select the l2 image with the dot bin extension click on open now click on finish click on apply and let's also add license to run iou devices for this uh, click on ios on unix click on the browse button navigate through the switch folder and click on the iourc text file which includes the license information click on the apply and click on ok button now we are done let's verify if the switch is successfully added and uh, it runs without any error click on the all devices icon here and we can see the switch is added to the list of all devices we can also see the router that we added just before in the list of all devices let's drag and drop the router to the workspace also let's drag and drop the switch then power on the devices as we did earlier 
double clicking on the router, we get access to its virtual console and we can work with it. Also, double clicking on the switch, we get access to its virtual console and we can work with it too. Now we can easily create L2 and L3 topologies of our requirement and configure and verify the setups. Okay guys, this is how we can install GNS3 with GNS3 BM and add switches and routers. That's all for this video. I hope it was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you in other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.